Coachman Freedom Express 297 RLDS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. That means uh, rear living deep slide. A lot of people are going to mistake that for double slide, although I don't know that that's inappropriate on this model since it has one big living room super slide and a full bedroom slide. Um, <clears throat> what is a Freedom Express? That's the natural question. Why, uh, why on earth would someone spend uh, all their money on this thing versus Brand X? You know, what makes them different? Uh, that's the kind of stuff I want to hit on in this video because there are great differences between different products out there and, you know, they all look pretty. Just trying to get out of the light there. They all look good. You know, why buy one versus the other? That's, that's the kind of stuff you want to know. Keep in mind, as we go through, there are going to be options and upgrades present in this camper that, uh, you know, do not necessarily represent every single 297 we have such as the uh, power leveling or pardon me power stabilizer jack system not levelers there is a difference levelers can pick the trailer right up off the ground stabilizers are designed to do just that stabilize keep it from rocking and rolling around um, you know that's an option that we've put on here your interior color scheme in this particular unit is going to be called autumn it's not to say that every single one of these we have is going to look exactly the same uh, but stuff like, you know, the, the nicer power awning with LED lights, power tongue jack, most of that's pretty standard on a Freedom Express. It is a, uh, a very well-appointed, classy, lightweight unit. And that's the other thing, is that this is one of the, 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 the better-appointed lightweights you're going to see out there. Stuff like the nicer slam latches, the, the sealed edges right here on your big piano hinge, that's a big deal. That keeps the water from getting in there and, and freezing up. Now this is a full bed slide out that has a full under bed storage that goes right under there. That's a big deal. Um, this is also fully enclosed, insulated, uh, with some underbelly heating. That's going to do wonders toward extending your camping season. Um, things like that make a big difference. I don't know how well this ever translates to video, but I want to point out how completely flush and pulled out these seals are. You notice how some travel trailers, the seal's still like half folded in. That's because if you look really close at the skin of this, it's very rough. And that pulls the slide out and it keeps it taut. And it basically guarantees the best possible seal you can get. Notice too, uh, not only do you have windows on the side of your slide out, they also open for ventilation. Things like that are a big deal. When you go camping, a lot of times you don't run the air nonstop. You do want that extra cross breeze and windows on the sides of the slides are one of the best ways to get that. Um, this is, uh, like I said, uh, a little bit different in a few ways. One of the major ways, really, you can't see, and that's what's under the skin. This has um, Asdel built into the walls instead of Luon below the fiberglass, what that means in English. Normally, right below the fiberglass skin, uh, most trailers uh, have the fiberglass skin glued to a sheet of Luon, which is like uh, one ply plywood, effectively, which makes it not plywood, but anyway. Um, they, uh, you know, then have the, the same wall structure below that. Coachman substitutes that layer of Luon for Asdel, which is effectively melted down pop bottles. It's a very lightweight, uh, waterproof, heavily resilient um, uh, substrate, basically. It's made from, I think I mentioned, uh, melted down pop bottles. Now, so one, it's a green recycled material. Two, it's 50% lighter than that Luon. So on a, on a, 29 foot box like this one it saves a few hundred pounds which is a big deal um, you know then the lamination and everything else that a lot of other guys do is also in place here but that that asdel is something that uh, you know most people are not doing it costs a dollar more it's a better product god forbid there's ever a, a, a roof line seam failure that asdel is going to help keep your walls from delaminating and splitting it's really important they use it in europe a lot and that's what helps keep their trailers lightweight um, the Coleman Grill is something that's a little unique on uh, a Freedom Express. Very few other trailers have something like that. It's really cool how it just slides in and out of the camper. You don't have to find storage space for it. The other thing is, it's totally freestanding. Take it wherever you want. It just feeds off those little one pound gas bottles you can get pretty much anywhere. Um, good looking aluminum uh, rally style rims on here. I love the look of those. They look awesome uh, screaming down the road too. And you see the wide stance suspension here? Here's the exact concept. Put your feet right together. Now, if someone pushes you, you're going to like fall. You're going to just lose your balance. Now, put your feet apart. Somebody pushes you, you have a pivot point, you have stance, you have stability. That's exactly what's going on here. This is fighting sway going down the road. And I can tell you from personal experience, when you set up camper shows, you have to push these trailers in place by hand. These are a bear. 
I, I, they're tough. Now, I'm sure you've noticed under the push button easy power awning, we have a full LED light strip here. And against this white backdrop uh, of this awning at night, it really glows out here and it makes a big, big difference. Uh, stepping inside, by the way, this trailer as built comes in just under 7,200 pounds. For a 29 foot trailer with two slides, that's a big deal. That's that's a pretty pretty easy weight. This is something I like. Your your switches here are backlit, so they're easy to see. Now for your your inside, you know, your living room lights, that's not a big deal because you can see those. But your outside lights, it's handy. But uh, I want to point out here real quick. In the middle of the day, you see how much of a difference this these lights actually still make. Um, you know, it's significantly brighter in here, even in the middle of the day with these uh, lights on. Again, this color scheme is called autumn. It's like a, a, a very dark leatherette, by the way. <clears throat> Give you a good view of the living room here. One of the things I hear a lot is, wow, these just feel bigger. And you are absolutely right. The, most lightweight trailers in an upper end class, or at least those pretending to be upper end, and I, I say that with a little bit of bitterness. I don't name names, but there's a lot of different trailers out there, guys, and they're all the best at something different, even the ones I don't carry, as much as that pains me to say it is true. But I've seen a lot of cheaper brands giving you that illusion of a nice uh, high-end trailer by giving it the, the cathedral barreled ceiling. Coachman doesn't do that. And, uh, the cathedral barreled ceilings have 78-inch walls that barrel up to uh, about 83 inches. This is 81 inches flat all the way across. So though it is slightly shorter here in the middle, it's significantly taller on the sides. The sides are where your cabinets are located. That's where your shower's located. It's also where your slide out's located. Without that 81 inch height, you don't get the taller slides you find in a Freedom Express. That is a huge difference between brands like Freedom Express and a lot of the other copycat lightweights that are out there. And I'll just leave it at that and I'll let you pick the names yourselves. If you're curious, give us a call and we can shoot you straight. I'm not a politician. I don't like mudslinging. I just call it as I see it. Storage and a coachman, considering they've been around for over 50 years now, I think this is their 51st year building towable RVs, um, is supreme. They have awesome storage solutions and lots of them. This is also a cool way to see how these are built. This is basically like what your roof and your floor decking is. It's tongue and groove plywood. It's it's not like uh, you know cheap luon or anything like that. It's heavy duty. The roof is full walk on. Come to Coldwater, Michigan. I'm over 200 pounds. I'll hop up there and I'll show you. Also, I like the little slider access panels on the back of their horseshoe dinettes here. Their U dinettes just makes it a lot easier to get to. Again, you don't have to tell everyone. All right, everybody, get up. Now, even their tabletops are a, a step above. It's a sealed edge. Now, this is a dining table where you're going to have all kinds of drinks iced teas maybe long island or traditional variety that's up to you eventually someone's gonna bump this or they're gonna bump the drink it's gonna spill but there's no seam where that can seep into here this table is always gonna look just like that unless you really uh, hammer the thing hard a little skylight above the dinette to let in some extra light but so you don't feel like an ant under a magnifying glass they do give you a shade there if it's a little too extreme now this is not just a freedom express first of all there's the Freedom Express, you can upgrade to a Liberty Edition, and then there's the, the Premier Package you can add on top of that. Think of it like the LS, the LT, and the LX, respectively. This is the LX. This is the Liberty Edition with Premier Package Freedom Express. Uh, so this would be your standard light fixture, which a lot of people say, oh, that's just a normal camper light. No, it is not. This is still a full, very bright, high-quality LED light. Now, in your uh, Premier package, in your living room, you're going to get these really cool flush mount puck lights. They look awesome. Um, point is, they're all very nice. Now, what's amazing is Coachman actually held off using these in Freedom Express for a, a whole year beyond everybody else. Because when they first came out, they were all just stark white LEDs like this. And it looked like a doctor's office in here. It was very, very drab and disappointing. They actually worked with the manufacturer to come up with yellowed bulbs so that it looks like normal camper lighting. They, they, they took the time to make this thing just look right. And I was so amazed by that kind of attention to detail. It's little stuff like that that, you know, determines your overall experience over time. This is a big tri-fold memory foam hide-a-bed sofa. Folds out like a queen bed. To give you an idea, this is literally the exact same brand of hide-a-bed sofa and same model used in some of the $102,000 Redwood fifth wheels we have out here. Pretty impressive. They use good quality fixtures in everything. Similar to their chairs. These chairs 
are uh, a, a pound heavier than most. They're also far better quality than most lightweight chairs, and they are actually recliners. They're not just rocking chairs. Um, little uh, chair side stand here is a little bit bigger. That's because a lot of folks have things like laptops they want to use on their lap. That's why it's called a laptop. And they leave you power outlets for stuff like that. Um, you know, big windows with lots of light. These two side windows here are the only two that will not open. But you see that you have these huge rear windows that open for ventilation. And all of your doors are going to be full hardwood doors. You don't, especially back here behind the axle, these cabinets are just going to get pounded on over the years, but they're built to last. It's just going to last longer. <coughs> the dumbest thing get me the most excited. If you own a camper, I bet you got a big pile of shoes by the door. Well, that's why they give you a little shoe garage. Dumb little things like that make such a difference over time. Liberty Edition gives us solid surface countertops. Premier Package adds the sink cover, so you do get both the way we tend to equip our trailers. Once again, please please verify and read our listings. By the way, this is the TV box for that TV. We like to pull them out and keep them stored so that you're the first people to take them home and touch them. Um, and now, again, something I want to point out. How deep is this countertop? It's huge. All of these ovens at every camper are the same size. You see how much deeper the countertop is over here? You know, you're getting like 40% more countertop space in a Freedom Express. That also means 40% more deep drawer and cabinet storage space. And that's what allows you to get cool stuff like this. The wraparound sink drawer. That is the best use of space I've ever seen under a sink. Now one thing I did want to show you is not only are these really cool, when you go to the, the solid surface countertops, um, you also get an undermounted stainless steel sink. This is a very strong American stone cast sink. That's not just the name brand, it's American Source. And that's a cool thing with Freedom Express. They American Source as many pieces and parts as they can in their campers. And, you know, that's that's a, something anyone can be proud of. Uh, extra deep cabinets up here. To give you an idea, I'm 6'3", I got long gangly arms. That goes clear up to my elbow, so about 18 inches or so. Uh, this is also all pocket screwed cabinetry. I don't know how much light's back here, and I don't know how if I'll get this in frame. But uh, if I did it right, you can see where the, the screws actually go up into here. You don't have staples. Most lightweight trailers, you have staples and glue. And if you walk into a new trailer, you can... See, I'm trying to twist it, and it won't go. If you twist it, you can wiggle. Brand new um, style. So that this is called the, the door style, by the way. A lot of people don't seem to realize that. An actual backsplash, not wallpaper. Oh, I'm going long on this video. Oh, well. Um, we tend to upgrade our Freedom Expresses with a, a 15,000 BTU Air. Not always. We tend to. The refrigerator with a Premier package. Oops, knocked down the TV box. Refrigerator looks about the same in a picture, but it's an 8 cubic foot, not a 6. Basically, from here down, you're getting 33% more bonus storage space. Most of your living rooms don't have much in the way of kitchen storage. But they left you a very good sized pantry here in this Freedom Express. Again, the word storage is something I could probably wear out talking about a, a Freedom Express most of the time. Um, the Premier package adds this uh, electric space heater right down here. So I think, this is, I think it's about a 5000 BTU. It's going to be right in that neighborhood. If it's spring and fall, you crank that thing on, you're not even going to need to turn on your uh, propane furnace. It'll save you a lot in propane use. Stereo is also your DVD player. It's Bluetooth enabled. It does everything. You just you don't even have to bring along extra electronics. I have the TV set here really crooked because in a Freedom Express you can. It's on a nice swing arm. Now the the problem with a lot of slide outs with a uh, a rear facing entertainment because it's facing the rear is the guy in this corner can't see anything. That's not a problem. It costs them a dollar more for that swing arm, but you get so much more use out of your entertainment center now. And it's that kind of stuff that has always separated, you know, Freedom Expresses and Coachman's for me. Um, recently here, in recent history, they switched over to this spa-style shower. And I'm seeing this again in these high-dollar fifth wheels with this clouded glass look. It is just, here, let me close this. It looks awesome. I love the, the open from the middle feel of it. It's just very classy, very chic. And again, you got a fifth wheel shower and a travel trailer. And again, this is extra tall. I'm tall. I'm 6'3". I'm wearing boots. My head's nowhere near having to uh, duck in the bubble. If you're extremely tall, there's probably no travel trailer made for you. But short of that, this is going to take care of it. Notice that even 
in the bathroom. Everywhere except the kitchen, you're still getting this nicer sealed edge countertop. You're going to splash water all over here. It's a sink. That's what you do. Well, you're not going to ruin your kitchen or your bathroom countertops doing it. We have nicer porcelain stools, not cheaper plastic like you normally find in lightweights. We also have both awesome wardrobe space and bonus linen space here. Again, most travel trailers, most travel trailers, period, let alone lightweights, can't match that. We have it strapped down, but you do have a pocket privacy door for your front bedroom here. Um, in the full bed slide out, which is another thing almost unheard of in lightweights, we do have a full true 80 inch bed. We have a true queen, not a 74 inch camper queen, six inches longer. When uh, they, oh, you get to, how you doing guys? You get to peek at me in the mirror here. I usually try to keep one of those open so you don't have to put up with that because frankly, th this is the ugliest thing in this trailer. That's unfortunate you had to see that. But uh, when they redesigned their nose cap recently and went to that bullet nose design, they literally doubled the front wardrobe space that you get up here. And this is one of those things that in two dimensions, you don't get a good feel for it. But it's another one of those, you got to see it to believe it things. This gives you basically the same storage space as a big fifth wheel. But did you notice you also still have that front enclosed pass-through storage space? What that does is it brings the floor of the, the um, oh, closet up where you can reach it. You don't have to take a knee to grab you know a pair of shorts or whatever. They also leave you a little bedside stand so you can keep like a phone or an alarm clock there. Now, a couple more things to point out here and I'll let you go. Again, next to a door, we have a shoe garage. I don't care if it's the front door or the back door. Both doors get their own shoe garage. Perfect spot to add a TV aftermarket if you're so inclined. Keep your movies and whatnot up here, or just bonus storage. And little stuff like this. A charging station. It has uh, four sets of household outlets. Uh, well, pardon me, two sets. Four total outlets. Uh, so that you can keep a charger plugged in, keep your phone right there. It can still, re actually, that Bluetooth stereo reaches like 30 yards or something crazy like that. You, you're basically never going to disconnect from it unless you go to town. So you can leave your phone here charging and still listen to whatever music you want. Now notice too, because this door, oops, this door is right here and the bathroom's right there, it's really easy to get to the bathroom, to get to the refrigerator real quick going down the road. It's an easy camper to use very well planned and it's one of the reasons it's been so popular for us give us a call 800-256-5196 haywood rv of coldwater michigan thank you everybody take care stay safe happy camping go have some fun